welcome everyone today we are going to see about how to create node express server then we are going to see about how to route that means routing routing in express then we are going to connect mongodb atlas server that is cloud server okay first we need to create a express server for that we have to create a folder so i have a project folder in d drive here i am going to create a new folder so you can click this option create new folder i am going to give server the name of the project folder is my project folder is server inside the projects folder okay i am going to have all my projects in the project folder just open it the server folder don't have anything first step we want to make a server is to make init process for init process you have to select the see you have to select the server in the path you have to click just click cmd just click enter it will open the command prompt now you have to give the command npm init what is the command name command name is command name is npm init so initialize the server we have to give npm init that should be given in the command prompt that command prompt can be open by using the simple shortcut that is here we have to you have to click the path just click cmd it will open now you have to provide npm command with init so just click on that it will ask for the package name the package name is default package name that is server so if you want to change you can change i am now i am going to give server so i am just clicking enter it will take it test server then version is 1.0 this is my first version of this project so i am just clicking enter then description if you want you can provide description i am going to give this is my server with node slash express okay then is going to ask uh, say entry point entry point is the the first file should execute in our project the default is in index.js if we want we can change to server.js or app.js whatever it is so that should be a entry point for our project now i am going to hit enter give any name for the entry point uh, i am keeping as it is the test command is i am skipping this there is no zip repository so i'm just hitting enter then keywords if you want to provide keywords for our project we can give or else you can leave it just i'm hitting enter author name who is the author for this project now i am going to give my name just hitting enter then license is isc so i am just hitting enter the default license now asking us to whether it is the provided information is okay or not so just i'm clicking enter so it will take s so our any process is successfully completed okay now you just go into your folder folder the package.json file okay see here json source file that file will be created after the init process i need a editor i am going to use visual studio code i want to open this uh, vs code if you want to create a server we we need to code right so for that we need a good editor so i am i am preferring vs code 
now how to add our project that is called as server to our VS code just go to file then click add folder to workspace you have to go for your project folder that is in the D drive D drive you have to click the server you have to select that project folder name then click add it will be added see here it will be added the server we have only one file that is called as package.json now i am going to create a server code right then only my server is going to respond for the client request for that i need express okay i need express i am going to install express installing express in simple step npm install express okay npm install express just click enter it will take few minutes so now the express is installed for our project you can provide uh, npm install express iphone iphone save then uh, npm install express iphone global or iphone g you can use it so it will be globally installed for this project alone so i am just giving npm install express okay once install the express just go to the vs code now see the you can see the node underscore module folder will be created and also the package.json file the dependency is express is ha, is added to our project the version of the express is 4.18.2 okay so now node module folder will be automatically added what are the dependency default dependencies basic dependencies will be added once we install the express then i want to create a server for that i need a javascript file so just click on the server or you can right click on the server create a new file to create new file just click on and right click on our server folder that means uh, project folder name just you click new file or else you can then you can click this icon new file see new file so just click on that the new file name will be asked here you can provide the uh, file name that is called as server.js this is a javascript file so i am giving server.js so once you give the extension the server.js see here the icon will be changed as js okay now click enter the file will be open first we need to import the express for importing express you have to const you can use const where or let anything you can use which is not going to change anymore in our program we can have it as constant so i am going to use constant keyword express equal to require if we want to import the modules for our project we have to use require function what we are going to import is express so just click on express we install the express will automatically come here so just hit enter now next step is we have to create our app that is called as server for that i am going to have const app equal to express okay so what is the meaning for this line is so we are importing the express module or express middleware we are storing it into the one variable so once if you are requiring the express it will return some promise okay sometimes the modules will return the objects sometimes the uh, import statement will return the functions so now this express is going to return a function so i am going to store it in the express then i am going to store it in app so for that only we are putting the express as a function here you can use semicolon or you can leave semicolon the javascript will accept new line will be considered as a end of statement or else we can provide semicolon now 
this application or this project is going to um, send a data exchange the data using json for that we have to use app dot use express dot json express dot json this line is used to tell our server is going to process json formatted data also for that we are providing app dot use express dot json right now i am going to create a root for that so routing is nothing but by using the rest api we are going to create a routing the http request methods always get post put patch delete trace request method in which way or in which url the client is going to access our server okay for that we have to use app dot get of this is going to be our path that means root we have to use the get for get request we have to use app dot get the app dot get going to have mainly two parameters that is called as first one is what is the route the client is going to access this server second one is the callback function the callback function have two arguments first one is request and response here i am going to define a callback function by using the arrow function the arrow function syntax is like this here i am going to give some messages for the client so for that i am going to response dot response dot send this is from server okay we have defined the route for this route right now we have to make our server or we have to make our server to listen or we have to start the server for that to start the server we have to use app dot app dot listen app dot listen here we have to provide the port number that is called as i am going to use 4000 so any port number you can use like 2000 2001 2020 3000 2000, like this so now i am going to use um, 4000 the port number then it going to be a callback function so another callback function so listen then it should be a callback function we can provide callback function callback function name or else we can define a function itself i am going to use arrow function method syntax okay here i am going to use log that is console dot log how to get console dot log easily just click log then you see here you, you you can see the square box here if you click enter then at console dot log will be automatically come this is a simple circuit now i am going to give server started server started now i am going to save this file now i am going to start my server to start my server before that we have to save our file whatever changes we making in our file we have to change that we have to change that and we have to save that after that go to the command prompt is how to run node js file we have to use node space server.js okay just click enter so now server is started now our server is started then how to check whether the server is running so just open the browser so just i'm going to give http colon double slash 127.0.0.1 colon 4000 is our port number i'm going to hit enter so it showing us this is from server if you are giving a slash here that time also it is going to provide server now i am going to give another value students now we are getting 
cannot get slash students why we are getting this message cannot get slash students because we didn't define anything for this root so this root is slash students so this is our root right this is our root that means you are then we have another uh, see here 127.0.0.1 colon 4000 is our root path right in that path we have we are going to add slash students we didn't define anything for this root okay so only it telling us cannot get students now i am going to give i am going to give a definition for that path also okay i am going to give some definition for that path also i am going to give definition for that slash student path also how to give just app dot get then i am going to have a root root slash stud and students okay now i am going to have callback function in that callback function we have rec and response parameters i am going to use callback function that means arrow function syntax i am going to have some message here this is students page right i am going to save this file i am going to have another root definition that is called as login this is login page i am just giving a message this is login page this is student page but we have uh, good definition for our login page and also we have uh, proper definition for student page now as of now we have simple code we will implement later okay now i am going to save this file and again i am going to stop the server to stop the server we have to click control c so our server is stopped now i am going to run it again now server.js server is started i am going to access this student so what i am getting is student this is student's page if i click slash login it will give a response as this is login page this is how we can root our server before we are going to create a server or a application we have to have clear cut definition for each and every route or routing for our application so that those path or those routes should be defined properly inside the server okay now i am going to refactoring my code by creating another file i am going to keep these statements in the another file now i am going to refactor my code by writing my callback functions in one file and we have to access those callback definitions in the by calling the function okay so for that i am going to create file inside the server folder that is called as routing.js okay routing.js 